Hi, my name is Cody Moore. I'm from Rio Grande, California. I train rope horses and reining cow horses. You know, I rope five, six days a week and, you know, just training horses, I just try to keep these horses relaxed and liking their job. Okay, we're gonna score this steer. You know, I compete on this horse at a lot of big jackpots and, and a few rodeos a year, so scoring is the most important thing. So I really want my horses to score good, very important. She scored pretty good right there. That's what I'm looking for. It's all won and lost at the barrier. On that run, we just went in there and made a nice smooth run. That's a run we can make all the time. Um, everything was smooth. Nobody got out of whack. Everything was just smooth. That's just a practice run. That's that's what we. That's on these good horses. That's what we like to do. Just make nice smooth runs. Keep your horse working good. Don't let your horse beat you. I have nine or ten mealies that we rope. Uh, I rope them a couple times a week. It's uh, it's just really good for your head horses to hold them up and make them really control that run. And it's good for heel horses. It makes them heel horses wait and uh, really be patient not want them, want them to dive in there. So you're going to see us rope this mealy and uh, just try to hold our horses in there and make sure they don't want to drop. I want to really control the run. Okay. Okay, that run, if you notice, I went in there, ran in there, roped him, held my horse up, tried to make that steer, just make it, that mealy make a nice, even corner. If you go around there and make that steer hop, the easier it is for your healer to rope him. So this steer is fresh, so, you know, I'm gonna really try to hold my horse in there. The steer really runs. So I'm gonna try to get a pretty good start so you don't have to run the guts out of my horse. Oh, see it runs. Okay, that steer was really fresh and I kind of missed the start a little bit. I roped him, I really, you gotta really hold your horse in there on fresh steers. You're, you gotta make sure that your horse don't drop on fresh steers or you'll whip them, get them, jerk them down. So that one, I just kind of waited on that steer. Once that steer committed, I just, towed him off and he's, he hopped really fast and John came around there and roped him by two feet. It was a good shot. He feels just a little uptight. It's gonna get him relaxed. We're just gonna go make a nice jackpot run on this steer. Okay, on that last run, my horse got a little excited when I nodded. That's why this uh, thing out in front, we just call it the score deal, that made this horse wait in there. Now, if, was, if I didn't have that thing, that's my horse I'd have had to go or I'd have just had to score. So that deal, even though he jumped a little bit, that steer never went nowhere, so I still got to hang out, so it, it relaxed. So hopefully on this next steer, you'll see how this deal will make this horse hopefully relax a little bit more. So this next one's nice and slow, so I'm gonna make him just stand in there. Try to make him stand there like a rock. This steer's slow. I'm gonna just, since he's getting a little, little amped up, I'm just gonna slow this horse down and not try to really, I'm just gonna run in there and take some swings over his back to slow the run down for him. See, now he scored a lot better. I'm gonna ease to him. Okay, on that last run, you notice how I, I tried it. That steer is real slow going through there, so I just made my horse, and I didn't blow him out of there. I just made him let him ease to him and just made everything real smooth. When your horses get a little excited, the worst thing to do is score them way out there and just make them blow to him. That's gonna make your horse score worse. So sometimes when your horse needs a little confidence, it's not bad to just kind of go with the gates and just ease your horse to him. 
the main thing about scoring is go when you want to go. Don't let your horse pull through your hand. So even if I'm going to come to the gates, I'm going to make sure I see what I want and then go. You don't want to fight your horse in the box. You want to make it as easy as you can. So I'm going to go ride, ride. I'm going to ride deep in here. I'm going to use my right leg, right leg. So now look it. I got to take two steps back. Now I'm ready to rope. Now I didn't make it difficult on my horse and he's happy and I'm happy. Okay, we're going to run this one. It's a melee and I'm just going to be nice and smooth. Right there, that was just a nice smooth run. I, I roped him, I handled him nice and, nice and kept the steer hopping the same every time. And I, I made sure I finished my horse, John dallied, and I, and I made my horse back up and finished the run. Always make your horse finish the run. Okay, this steer's pretty fresh, he runs pretty hard. I'm gonna try to run in there, set him up for John and see what we can get done. <laughs> 